Epic Western gives us a chance to introduce you to a genuine Titan every single week on the Mike Vrabel Show. And this week, we're going to make sure you know who Andrew Adams is. I have to tell you, when the Titans signed him off Pittsburgh's practice squad, I had no idea who he was. But number 47 has become a big part of this defense, a regular starter and a guy who's made plays, especially in the Indianapolis game where he returned an interception 76 yards for a touchdown. But in terms of making the big hit or being in the right spot or taking on the biggest runners or receivers, this guy never backs down. Our Amy Wells had a chance to sit down with Andrew Adams and introduces us to this genuine Titan. Andrew, it seems like when you look at your family tree, you've got NFL just running through your veins. How many people in your family have played for the National Football League? Yeah, there's definitely been a few. So we have my brother-in-law, uh, most recent Alec Ogletree, played linebacker. Um, we have Sam Adams, he played uh, D-tackle for a while. And my uncle, uh, his name was Sam Adams as well. Uh, and then I have Matt Forte, who's my cousin as well. Um, so yeah, the, the, the tree has a lot of branches and uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely fun to be a part of. I mean, at this point, it's kind of the family business, right? <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost. Uh, I don't want to put any pressure, you know, on my newborn son. So I don't want to say it's a family business, but it, def it definitely runs in the family. Now, how old's your son? He's three months. That's very exciting. Very Congratulations. Exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate um, it. How has fatherhood changed your, your perception on what you do and the not official family business? <laughs> it's, it's changed it a lot, actually. I feel like um, this is the first year where I feel like, a, I don't want to say a grown up with a job. Uh, I feel almost before that football was something I loved to do and I didn't look at it as you know a job almost. I feel like I had the privilege to keep playing um, at the highest level, but now it's almost like you're going to work, providing for your family, even though you, you still love the game, but it's kind of more of that mindset. As a role model, what is it most important for you to model to the guys that are around? Just that, you know, this is serious. You know, like, like, like we were talking earlier, I feed my family this way. So, you know, I, uh, you know, prepare, you know, day in, day out, at night, throughout the day. So if you want to be, you know, uh, not just a good player in this league, a great player in this league, you're going to have to take that approach that, you know, it's not just, you know, punch the clock when you're here. It's, you know, this is a full season, six month thing. You have to be locked in, you know, in the off season, then, then you can relax, but now is not the time to relax. You've talked a lot about the culture here at the Tennessee Titans. What is it about the culture of this team, this group of guys that you like so much? You know, it's just that family. I think, you know, we, we preach on that and other teams do, you know, family environment, but it's just, I don't know, it's real life here almost um, just the way the coaches the head coach coach Vrabel communicates with his players you know the team meetings he's calling people by his name I mean by their first name I mean you don't really see that in too many other places so uh, it truly is you know that family environment and you can feel you know the aura and the building you know and it's great. What's left for you to accomplish in your career? I would say just keep growing as a player every day um, I don't want to put there's definitely not a ceiling on how good I can be. I know I'm in my seventh year and I still think that I'm getting better. Um, so I just want to keep having that daily approach mindset to show up to work and get better. And I know, um, you know, at the end of my career, I can look back and I won't regret, you know, not going as hard as I could or not being as good as I wanted to be if I take that daily approach of getting better, getting better, getting better. Good stuff, Amy Wells, with Andrew Adams. Every once in a while, you find that guy who's a perfect fit. Feels like he's been here forever. Now. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. It's uh, It kind of has. It's September 21st. But, <laughs> um, you know, he's played a lot of football. He's, he's a smart player who I think, to, to like he said, has gotten better in our system and, you know, made some plays for us, made some really big plays, started off on special teams, and now has, you know, gotten a larger role defensively he's come up with some huge plays and um is a great teammate enjoy having him around uh i mean we we could use some of those uh 
those bloodlines that he's got. Yeah, for know, real. I know some really great players. Yes. <laughs> they choose to feel Andrew. The Sam Adams, yeah. too, from the Patriots back in the day, and then the other one from the uh, Ravens. Right. It, uh, Matt Forte. Not bad. No. He can and, catch. But he's, uh, he's done a nice job. And so we just need to continue, uh, like he said, improving, taking that daily approach. And, 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 and it's funny, he's – in his seventh year, he's like, now I have a job. And, you know, he's always had a job. Now he's just got a, a little baby. 